Hello, culinary critics, and welcome back to Midnight Ramen. In the last episode, we found out a bit more about Homura's relationship with Blaze. And we also found out a bit more about Blaze's story overall. So, with all that in mind, let's see where we go in this episode. I've already told you, I'm fine. No, go and rest. The soul isn't like the body. As long as it's stable, it's fine, really. Right, a stable soul that goes out carelessly and almost becomes food for a chaos. Ah, <laughs> That, I had my reasons. Right, and what were your reasons? What did you have to do that was so important you almost became a Chaos's dinner? So are the Chaos's different than the Chai? Because before they were mentioning the Chai, and now the last few episodes with the werewolf-like thing called the Chaos, seems like they're talking about those. Not sure if they're different or not. Is it so hard to tell me? Well... Do you know how I died? Aster said that you used to be a hunter. And that, uh, you died in the line of duty. That's right. I was part of Prometheus when I was alive as well. I died in a severe chaos attack. My soul energy was almost burnt up in the battle. But at the time, I wasn't ready to pass through the doorway of light. So, after I passed away, I traveled around with Aster to clear my mind. What does that have to do with you leaving? The next part. I hope you won't get angry after you hear it, okay? I can't promise, but I'll try. Well, back then, my thoughts had become very negative. I thought, I thought that letting myself dissipate would be the best thing. But then, I met you the orphanage. I really wanted to take you away from that place. So, I asked Mitras to do something for me. Aunt Mitras? She's... she's a member of Prometheus too? Yes, I've known her for a very long time. I asked her to create a contract for me. To allow me to become your mentor, as a spirit. And to continue existing through your soul fire. My soul fire? I mean, it doesn't have a big impact on you. It only consumes a little at a time. Just enough to keep me existing, that's all, I promise. You... you think I'd be angry to learn about this? I know you think of me as family. I feel the same. I don't think you're using me. Don't worry about that. Okay, but there is one more thing. It's about the contract. It only lasts until you're an adult. What does that mean? You... you're not saying. That's right. After the contract ends, I won't be able to live off your soul fire anymore. Most likely, I'll dissipate due to lack of energy. So, Mitras and the others suggest that I pass through the doorway of light, before you come of age. Wow. Hamora. That is tough. Uh, hi. Do, do you need help? I saw Hamora crying. She ran away when she saw me. It's alright. I think she needs to be on her own for a while. How about you, boss? Are you okay? The other day I saw you. Uh, you had a big wound on your stomach. <laughs> Sorry to have scared you. 
but thanks for your concern. I'm fine now. Unlike the body, the soul recovers very quickly. I'm fully healed now. Want something to eat? We don't have soft-boiled eggs tonight, but everything else is still available. Uh, alright. Then, please give me one tamagoyaki and a green tea. Thank you. Sure. Please wait a moment. Get the green tea out here. There we go. Missed the plate the first time. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Thank you. I... Well, I... I saw my mom. Did she come back home? No, it's... I saw a stranger come into our house. He took some of my mom's clothes and left, so I followed him. My mom, she's sick. She's in a psychiatric hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm... I'm the one who should apologize. But I don't even know who to apologize to. Boss, do you have a family? <laughs> yes, I do. Why do you ask? Um, I'm just confused. What exactly is a home? Hmm. Well, what do you think family is? Family? Your family is someone who's happy because you're happy and sad because you're sad. Someone who can accept you unconditionally, embrace you. I think I'm a terrible person. Why do you say that? Because I haven't managed to... I didn't unconditionally accept. And that... I actually have this thought. I thought that my mom ending up in a psychiatric hospital was her own fault. Why do I think this way? Am, am I sick too? Hmm. I still can't answer these kind of questions for you. All the norms and moral standards you're talking about are there to bind the living. As for spirits, the only thing we can do is clarify our own thoughts. I understand. But even if that process takes a long time, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Here, have some hot water. You ran without a jacket. Don't want you to catch a cold. Thanks. Kamora, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Kamora, hi. Eh? Uh, hi there. Welcome. Hi, I'm Rose, Ethan's mother. I'm sorry about yesterday. Ethan must have caused you so much trouble. Ethan? No, no trouble at all. He's a very nice kid. Mora? Do you know her? Let me explain. Yeah, he definitely doesn't. So, you performed a seance for him? Yeah, you don't really have any room to talk, guy. You've broken the rules yourself, and, uh, yeah. Didn't I tell you how dangerous the ritual is? And you still did it? You... Don't talk to me about danger. I wasn't the one who nearly got myself killed outside, was I? 
Yeah. <laughs> she has a valid point here. We can't help the living. You know that. So we're only supposed to help spirits? Don't the living deserve our help as well? Isn't that why people need our guidance when they die? Because they feel so lost when they're alive? She's growing up in front of us here. I sort of like it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't argue, please. My apologies. We were out of line. Please don't say that. This all started because of me. Let's forget about it for now. Since you're here, at a ramen stand, what would you like to eat? Eh, oh, okay. Let me see. I'll have a bowl of nostalgia ramen, please. Do you want to adjust the firmness of the noodles? Or the portion size? Whatever's convenient for you will be fine. Thanks. Nostalgia ramen. Let's look that one up. Alright, so soy sauce, bamboo shoots, seaweed, and sliced scallions. Alright, so that. 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 Let's do a good size order here. And it was soy sauce, wasn't it? Yeah, soy sauce. There we go. We'll do them firm. There we are. Here's your nostalgia ramen. Please enjoy. Thank you. I haven't tasted something this delicious since I got sick. This broth is really something special. Ha, huh. of course. We're serious about our cooking. Hmm, apart from the rich soup base, you got shrimp shells, bonito flakes. It really enhances the flavor. Ethan really likes bonito flakes. Every time I made takoyaki, he always wanted me to add more. I, I like bonito flakes too. Oh, young lady, you're also? Yeah, I, I passed away as well. How? How are your parents doing? Considering you're still so young. Sorry, should I not have asked that? My mother, she's in really bad shape. She, she can't accept the fact that I've passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she can get through it soon. About earlier, what Ethan did, I really am sorry. It's my fault for spoiling him too much. He can be very stubborn about things. No worries at all. Ethan is a good kid. Your son, he did this just because he misses you a lot? I know. I'd love to hug him. Just one more time. But I hope he can learn to let go. Why? I've passed away. I want him to be able to accept that. But he's only nine years old. And he can see spirits. Why don't you just tell him what you think? Actually, I only realized he could see spirits these past few days as well. When I was alive, he never mentioned anything about it. It's good that Ethan hasn't seen me. But he can come and go here as he likes. And he can talk normally with Zoe. I think it would be fine if you want to meet him. But I... Mora, this, don't do it, please. Don't abandon your child. Amora, I, I was raised in an orphanage. No one wanted to take me home. My parents died in a car accident when I was still very young. I don't even remember what they looked like. 
and because I can see spirits, I always wondered, when would they come back to see me? What did I do that was so wrong that they didn't? They weren't willing to. Homura, are you okay? Sorry. I just... I really understand how Ethan feels. I don't... I don't want anyone else to be abandoned again. Wow. Alright, let's stop talking about this. I don't want to spoil your appetites. By the way, Zoe, how have you been these past few days? Eh, me? I've been okay. I was just talking to the boss about, um, it's nothing important, but I... I want to order another bowl of ramen. Sure, what would you like? Please, could I have a chasu delight? A regular portion would be fine, with soft noodles, please. And could you pan fry the chasu before you put it in the bowl? It's more flavorful that way, right? Then add an order of pot stickers, and for a drink, I'd like a soda. Wow, <laughs> big order for Zoe this time. We can do that. And th that's all. Thank you. You are really Zoe, aren't you? Huh? What? What is it? Don't worry. She's just saying. It's not like what you usually order. Haha. <laughs> it's just, after seeing Hamora be so direct her about her feelings, I think I realized that sometimes it's important to follow your own mind. I thought my outburst, my outburst scared you. Anyway, I'll bring that to you in a moment. Thank you. It's rare to see Zoe trying so hard to express herself. I need to be on good form from the, this time. I can't let her down. Alright, so she wants soft noodles. Chasu delight. So, three things of chasu and pepper. Alright, so we've got to get chasu. Alright. So the noodles are soft. We need three things of chasu, so we got to cook some more. Put the noodles in. Which sauce are we using? Tonkatsu. Alright. Get that set in. Get the tonkatsu broth in. I'm gonna make sure this is perfect for Zoe. So, three things of chasu and pepper. Pepper, right? Yeah, pepper. Wanna make sure it's pepper, not chili powder. All right. And then she wants some pot stickers. We'll get those right in. And we'll get a soda here. All right. That really looks good, actually. I would love that meal. Serve a bowl of ramen with three portions of pan-fried chasu on top. Hey, great. Here you go, your ramen and your other dishes. Please enjoy. Thank you. Chasu is really good. I'm glad you like it. Well, thank you guys. Actually, I'm glad we talked. I feel more certain about my decision regarding Ethan now. Ever since he was little, he's always been dependent on me. He's always asking me for my opinion. But I'm dead now. If this situation continues, it wouldn't be fair to him. He has his own life to live. I know that this will be extremely painful for him. Maybe this is a sign from heaven. Maybe it's time to let go. But thank you, Homura, for what you said. I'll think about it. From now on, I think I'll take my leave. For now, I'll, I think I'll take my leave. Good night. Thank you for coming. I'll head back too now. 
Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Bye. Mora, I know you're still angry, but we need to talk about Ethan. I'm... I'm sorry. Huh? I shouldn't have tried to do the seance so recklessly. I didn't realize it was dangerous. If Astra hadn't been here... Well, trying new things isn't bad, but safety must come first, especially with unfamiliar things that might come with unexpected risks. It's really not your fault. Considering Ethan's situation, I understand why you wouldn't want to just stand by. But at the end of the day, we're guides. There are some rules that we have to obey. Yeah, I know. However, if Rose and Ethan happen to meet, in theory, at least, there might not be a problem with the rules. Huh? Ethan can see spirits. His mother is a deceased spirit. Who's to say they couldn't just run into each other? It wouldn't have anything to do with us. We wouldn't need to conduct a ritual to make it happen, right? The only thing is, I think that whatever happens, it should be Rose's decision. I agree with that. I think Homura was right in what she said, but now Rose needs to make that decision for herself. We shouldn't take that away from her. What do you say? Yeah, I agree. Alright, let's wrap up then. It's time to get off work. Okay. And with that, we end this day in Midnight Ramen. It was a fairly emotional day overall, so we now know what the secret was with Blaze. I sort of felt almost wrong at the fact that he was just taking Soulfire from Homura, but at the same time, I do agree with her that they're family, so she's not upset about that. The fact that he's planning on leaving, though, he really should have told her. Um. I think, though, it really worked out well for the story because she stood up for herself at a time when I think Rose needed to hear that as well. Because I really do hope that Rose does talk to Ethan in the end. I think he needs it and be good for him. Overall, it was a very emotional day here, but I liked it. And I hope you did too. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so they are aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more Midnight Ramen.